Hey kids, welcome to another extra project tutorial for grade 7. This is the router sign. The first thing to do is to take a look at some of the samples that Mr. Golder has to give you an idea of some of the things you might be able to, to do. You could just do something as simple as your name or something you want to label, like your room, or something that you're interested in or a funny saying. The idea behind the project is to shape the outside uh, perimeter of your sign in a particular shape and then router in the letters uh, spelling out whatever message you want to convey. First think of a few ideas for your sign. Draw them out on a piece of paper including the shape that you want to make with the outside backing board of your sign as well as the message you want to convey. Ensure that any message that you're going to router out of the interior of the sign is made in large block letters as the router bit that we use has a fairly large diameter and so you cannot be too precise with it. Once you have discussed your design idea with Mr. Golder and he's given you the go-ahead, pick up a piece of sign material from the extra project materials shelf and begin to draw out your design on the piece of wood. Draw everything out in pencil first and then retrace anything that's going to be cut out with the router with a sharpie. Ensure you give lots of space between your letters. Outlining it in Sharpie will make it much easier to follow the line when we have the router out. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our sign wood uh, in a vise using a bench dog and one of the holes in the table in order to hold it while we use the router. Open the vise. Lift the far block. Crank the vise tight so that your piece won't move. At this point, grab one of the handheld routers out of the rack, set it up at your table, and then go and get Mr. Golder to give you a quick lesson on how to use the handheld router to carve out your design. For this project, it is imperative you use both hearing protection and eye protection as the router is very loud and it can throw off a lot of material. Pick up the router. The trigger is on one of the handles depending on which way you're holding it. You'll set it down on edge on your piece of wood, pull the trigger, and then gently drop it. After you've finished each letter or symbol, let the trigger off, tip the router sideways, and pull it away. Move to the next letter and start again. Sometimes it helps to get down low so you can really see what you're doing. And we're done our first letter. Let's do another one watching a little closer this time.
and then router out the rest of your sign. At this point, the routering is done, and you can decide what you want to do next. You can either leave the etched in letters clear, or you can choose to burn them with the torch, which leaves kind of a, a neat effect later on where the letters are darker than the surrounding wood. If you'd like to darken up your letters using the torch, have Mr. Golder come and help you with this part. Do not attempt to do this on your own. The next step is to cut out the shape of your sign on the scroll saw. After you're done cutting out the shape of your sign, you're ready to head over to the thickness planer. Ask Mr. Golder to help you out with this too if you've never used it before. Always ensure that you're inserting your project with the grain so that the grain lines are going straight into the planer like this. This is incorrect. With the grain. As you push it into the planer, you'll feel the feeder grab. Let go, move to the other side, and pick up your planed project. At this point, you can choose. You could simply finish your project by sanding your edges, or you can choose to router the edges using the table router, and or you can choose to clear coat the entire sign. Here are those options. Sanding the edges using the palm sander. Do all the edges until they're nice and smooth. Routering the edges of your sign using the table router. Remember to ensure that your sign is face down. And use the guide to feed your project through. If you do choose to use the table router to router your edges, ensure you use a hand sanding block or some loose sandpaper to get rid of the fuzz that's left by the router. Just run a sanding block along your edges like this once you're done and that will get rid of all that fuzz left by the router. If you would like to add a clear coat, get the water-based varathane from Mr. Golder Put your project on a few blocks of wood so it doesn't stick to the paper at the painting table. And then coat with a generous coat of the clear varathane. 
let it dry and you're done.